ready to hit the road. So first stop is Arkansas on our trip across the country. For Tennessee. We're headed to Albuquerque, New Mexico. There's a hot air balloon festival that we want to try to catch. Hey, I'm Patrick. And I'm Erin. We're high school sweethearts who have been married for over a decade. We finally decided to quit our nine to five jobs, buy a van, and find out what this beautiful country has to offer. This is our story. All right, so let's talk about this Albuquerque Hot Air Balloon Festival, or Fiesta as it's called. Um, this festival started in 1972, and initially it had only hosted 13 hot air balloons. Um, by 1979, it grew to host over 300 hot air balloons. Um, it is one of the world's largest international hot air balloon festivals. And this year was the 49th annual hot air balloon festival hosted, of course, in Albuquerque. And it had over 540 hot air balloons. But we were really excited to be able to be a part of that. That was really cool. We made it to the balloon festival. We got free parking. Yeah. Haven't seen any balloons yet. Yeah, no, no balloons. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's Something like, going on. It's like a fair, right? That's what yeah. it looks like to me. It's like a fair. We got the ride. You're right. I don't see any balloons. None. It's made up. <laughs> there are so many food tents. The smells in the air were of funnel cakes, barbecue, cotton candy, maybe beans. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> All the things you want at your festival. Oh, yeah. So we made it. Yeah, we're at the balloon festival. Yeah. No balloons yet. Yeah, not yet. So I'm gonna go get some food. Yeah, we'll see what she comes back with. All the junk food. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully a salad. Yeah, right. Some carrots. Oh no. We'll see. I'll be back. Food lines were too long. Yeah, Food. I didn't get anything. Lose a couple pounds, be <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. And I starved to death. I don't think we're gonna starve to death. We got beans on the car. <sighs> you have beans. Oh. 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 There's something going on over there. I saw some fire. <laughs> We've been here about an hour. No balloons. <laughs> Hopefully they'll get started soon. It, the temperature is dropping so fast. It's so cold. Yeah, it was 90 today. Yeah. It's supposed to be 40 tonight. Yeah, good. Uh, I guess that's what happens in the desert. Thank you. 
Found out. No balloons going up tonight. Yeah. But they're all making giant flames everywhere. It's pretty cool. back in the morning early first thing just so that you know if we're picked if we get to fly we have to pay for it right then and there so. hopefully we fly but tomorrow morning we're gonna get out super early and uh, see the yeah. ascension at least she wants to get here at 3 30 yeah I want to be first in line so, I'm determined yeah we'll see how it's it works gonna out be rough. We're so excited to be a part of the festival. And when there are no liftoffs the first night, we were still helpful the next morning. So we ended up spending the night in a gas station somewhere close by so we could get to the festival early that morning and get on the standby list. Yeah. Little did we know the tickets are going to be $900 each. I can't believe it. Compared to like $250, $300. Yeah was the price that they normally sold at. Yeah. But we were shocked. Yeah. Yeah, when we got up to the front of the line, she said, okay, so, you know, if you're chosen, you have to pay for the tickets right now. You know, if you're chosen, you pay for them at that point. And it's like 900 plus dollars per person. Yeah, So That's crazy. Yeah, we still put ourselves on the list and, um, you know, went through the motions, but we never got called or anything. Yeah, yeah. We didn't even know if we were going to be able to afford that. We were not anticipating to have to spend that much. It's 3.30 in the morning. It's 4. 4 in the morning. We're here early before it even opens trying to get a bloom ride. Yeah. There's a lot of people here actually. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's not looking good, but... So I'm going to try. Yeah, we're gonna try. I wonder if we got energy drinks, there's coffee inside. Yep. Out of any henna. We have a protein bar. Okay. Yeah, we're just slow. Been here for two hours. It's freezing. Yeah. We haven't seen one balloon in <laughs> two days. <laughs> The balloon fest. Sun's <laughs> coming up. We're supposed to see some balloons in like 20 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they said as long as the wind doesn't get over 10 miles an hour, that they'll fly. Yeah. So they didn't fly at all yesterday. It's too windy. It was too windy. So I'm hoping that they don't cancel it today, because yeah. that would be a real bummer. Let me see a balloon soon. The balloon <laughs> fest. Finally got the first balloon coming up. Three hundred more balloons to go. So there are safety precautions put in place for some of these events. Um, one of them is if the wind is over, what is it? Ten. Ten, <laughs> ten mile an hour winds, uh, there's no flying at all. It's safety for the pilots, it's safety for the guests that are flying. Um, so unfortunately, we saw a lot of yellow flags. There's three different ones. Red is no go. Um, yellow is winds are really favorable right now. And green flag is go ahead and fly. Uh, I don't think we saw one green flag. Not one. It was all 
the first night it was all red and then the next morning it was yellow so mm -hmm. yeah that was that was a no-go for us unfortunately yeah. but we did get to see the balloons inflate which was neat we saw a bunch of really um interesting balloons that day still on yellow flag so we're they waiting. can't fly yet. Yeah, we're waiting for the green flag. Once it turns green, they're gonna start flying. I don't know. Hopefully it'll turn green soon. When they ended up not flying that morning, uh, we were pretty disappointed. Uh, not just because we weren't chosen for the ascension, um, but we really were anticipating seeing... <laughs> Uh, we were anticipating seeing all the balloons up in the sky and, you know, we were really looking forward to that, even if we weren't going to be on one of them. Yeah, I was relieved because we didn't have to spend almost two grand that day just to ride in a balloon for like an hour. Yeah. So we're about to head out of the festival. There's no balloons going up. It's too windy. So we're heading out. We can mm -hmm. go take a shower. Mm-hmm. What is it called? Hylograph. I think so, yeah. We're gonna go see something in Albuquerque. <laughs> you really want funnel cake? Our next stop is the Petroglyph National Monument. Another last minute pick, but sometimes those are the best ones. Yeah, ones you're not anticipating. Oh, you're right. I was excited to see them. I didn't realize how many there were. the petroglyphs. The ancient Pueblo people created most of the petroglyphs and lived around the Rio Grande for about 1500 years. Now petroglyphs weren't created just as like a means of art, they were a means of communication between um, different tribes and you know people coming through and status symbols, all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm not seeing, oh there's one. There's one there. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool how the images have held up over thousands of years and how intricate some of the images were. We were able to see quite a few of them. Yeah, I think where we trail. were, yeah, I think there were like over 500 images. Oh, there's a cool one. A lot of, yeah, a lot of handprints. They have a lot of um, interesting drinks. Okay, can I just do like a regular latte with almond milk? Yeah. With an extra shot of espresso? Stopping off at this coffee shop. Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros. Bros. Uh, curious as to the mouthpiece there. Interesting. Bro made it. A bro sure. made it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, it tastes a little bit different. How many out of ten? Mm, seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. I'll give it an eight. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> now I look for a camp brown. Yeah. Fun. Yep. We'll keep you guys updated. I just happened to stumble across it on the internet, so here we are um, doing a little bit of boom docking. 